the president of CSW died because of me. I was the one who killed him. I didn't do it for myself. I did it for you. I've never told anyone to keep it locked away. What is it all about? Shh! The moment of truth is about to come. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Why did you intervene in something you had no right to be in? Everyone from CSW had to learn from me the hard way. Even the president. He was to have the worst of all. It wasn't our decision. We were dead after that, and nothing could be done. Only the manager could. And he too is dead. After what he had done to avenge you. But why? Why? I thought I had done what was to be. What did you do? What happened to the president of the CSW? It started after the president ordered me to leave you where you were. With each passing moment, I could not help but feel guilty. After the recovery operation was finished, I returned to the main headquarters of the Campton Southwestern Railroad, where one fellow worker told me, when no one was looking, about the information and files of you being destroyed. I was very upset, and my pain over your loss got worse. I had intentions on making a memorial to you and your crew after the new bridge was built but my mind was thinking of something else. Revenge. I couldn't get over it, and I resigned as manager of the CSW within two months. Three years went by, and by then, witnesses were reporting of seeing your ghost up in the mountain. To me, it was like you were calling out, wanting to have closure and be laid to rest. Even after my resigning three years previously, the president was still running the CSW, but being rejected by his workers due to the fact he was now on a power trip whose ego got the best of him and many workers by then had left the company, quitting for they didn't want to work for an insane boss. This is just ridiculous. He doesn't seem to give a damn about what he does or no matter how much we try to work hard for him nowadays. He's just running this company into the ground. It's bad enough as it is since we're facing hard times on this railroad. And the fact of the matter is that he's more in favor of diesels than steam engines. Not to mention he's cutting corners on our paychecks, which absolutely suck, including mine. Yeah! My paycheck suck too, and I'm not getting the right amount of money either. He needs to retire and have someone to take over so that we can keep the Campton Southwestern Railroad running. Hey, wait your moaning and get back to work. This is my company, and you will follow every order that I say. Got that? The only way for this to end was to have him removed from office and get a new president to take over and keep CSW running. But to me, that wouldn't do me justice to put closure on your death. In 1960, the day before your fourth anniversary approached, I made my move. It was a moonlit night and I drove up to Camden. No one else was around at the time. The president was still in his office, finishing up paperwork, when I burst in, armed with my gun. What the hell? Who are you? What do you want? Revenge for Clinchfield 311! <laughs> Blood was everywhere, all over the desk and walls, after I shot him several times. I then went to see if any files of you were still there, and to my surprise, 
Some had survived. After putting the body of the dead president in the boot of my car, I took the files back to my home to preserve them. On the night of your fourth anniversary, I took the body of the dead president over to where your accident was and got out, setting my car on fire with his body inside. I didn't care at that moment whether it was right or wrong. I just wanted it to end. But after an hour passed, I could hear your bell ringing and your whistle sounded out. I then walked onto the bridge and stopped halfway. After 10 minutes, I saw your red light coming out and headed towards me. I didn't move and just stared at you until I closed my eyes, opened my arms out and said it was over for us both before you consumed me, taking my life and adding me to your list of victims. You... you shouldn't have done that. Had he been alive still, I would have taken him. He was a pathetic excuse for a man who left me and not to be recovered, and now in the afterlife, he's a pathetic excuse for a ghost. He can rot in hell for all I care and stay down there with the devil. It was my way of trying to end my pain as well as yours. He won't bother us anymore, for the sin he committed sent him down to his own demise. But even still, you've continued on haunting the bridge and trying to cross it, but still failed. Many times I have, but I still can't. The only way for me to move on is if I can. You're not the only one who wants to cross to the other side. We do too. Yeah, we all do. Is she still going to attempt to take one of us with her? I can't tell. Do you think it is time to find peace? Yes. Yes, it is time. The time has come for it to end. It's now been 60 years since it happened. Your stroke of bad luck ends tonight at last. You've wanted to have peace for so long, and now we believe it's time that you take it and let go of what's happened to you in the past. T -t -t take our word for it. Please, please accept. After what I now heard from those who were close to me, to those who I had intentionally wanted to feel what I felt, it was my time. My time to go and find my place of peace and move on. Come on, old girl. Let's finish what you couldn't and take that last ride together. On this day forth, the Clenchfield curse that was carried with me for years ends forever.
Well, boys, I think our duty here is done. Let's head back to camp then for a good night's rest. Yeah, we all need it, man. I'm absolutely getting drenched and soak here in this rain. Well, don't look at me, partner. I wasn't aware that we were going to get a strange storm here tonight. Besides, I ain't no weather expert. Hey guys, did you just hear that? God, no, it can't be. It's the ghost of Black Wolf Mountain. Hurry everybody, take cover. Guys, did you just see that? I don't believe it! Yeah, tell me about it, boy. Did our eyes play a trick on us? Or did we just see the unthinkable? I think we better tell the boss back at camp to what we just saw. Otherwise, no one will believe us, and we'll be a laughing stock on this railroad. Good idea, partner. Let's get off of Black Wolf Mountain. I don't think I'm ever going to come back here ever again. After what we just saw. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 